Welcome to the Trotec family. Congratulations on your purchase of your new Rayjet 50. We wish you many productive hours on your new machine and hope that it will assist you in growing your business from strength to strength. The Rayjet 50 is our entry line of lasers and probably the easiest in the range for setup and use. We will be covering the basics of the initial setup in the next couple of minutes. You will receive your machine in a wooden crate like this, shipped to us and then to you all the way from Austria. You will need a screwdriver or drill with bits to remove the screws. There is a screw on the bottom and on the top on every corner of the wooden box. Once all the screws are removed, carefully remove the top lid and place it on the side. Now remove each one of the side panels and place it aside. The machine will be in foil packaging material and after removing all the side panels, this would be easily accessible. Do not destroy the box and packaging material but rather keep it safe. You might need this in the future. Use a carpet knife or scissors to cut the top of the foil packaging material open. Be careful not to do this directly on the machine but rather lift it towards you when cutting. Push the excess of the foil material downwards and out of your way. Open the top lid and remove the piece of protective plastic from here. Remove the accessories supplied with the machine from inside the work area. This normally includes a red accessory box and your cutting table. For this next step, you require two people. Take the machine on both sides and lift from the bottom and place it on your table or stand of choice. Here we are using a Trotec Atmos exhaust system. Familiarize yourself with the rear of the machine. Here we have the power inlet, USB port, and the exhaust connector. In the red accessory box, you will find a couple of items. Important for the next couple of steps would be your power cord and the USB cord. Connect your power cord to the power inlet. Connect your USB cable to the USB port. Make sure the orientation of the plug is correct. For Trotec exhaust systems, you are supplied with this type of pipe. Connect each end, one to the machine and one on the back of the exhaust. We also supply normal external extractors like this. For the normal external extractors, we use this type of flexible pipe. Remove a piece of the wire to make the end more flexible. After removing it, cut with strong pliers and discard the piece of wire. Place the clamp over the flexible end and then over the exhaust connector. You can also use a piece of 75 mm or 2.5 inch PVC pipe which you would find at the local hardware store to make fitment on the exhaust connector easier like what we have done here. Once placed, screw the clamp tight. Take the other end of the pipe, also removing a piece of wire from this end to make the pipe more flexible. Place the clamp over the flexible end of the pipe and then over the inlet of the normal extractor, tightening the clamp in place. For the outlet side of the extractor, you will do the same. Take the end of the outlet pipe out a window, a door, or a hole in the wall. Also in your red accessory box, 
you will have a USB drive and printed software license keys. Insert the USB drive into any available USB port on your computer. Once inserted, open the drive in your file explorer. Then open the start.bat file. This will automatically run the correct setup file for your computer. If Windows user account control shows a message asking if you trust the software, click yes. On the first screen of the installation, click next. Feel free to read the license agreement. After this, click I accept the terms of the license agreement and then click on next. Fill in the relevant information here. Name, company and your machine serial number. This you will find on the back of your machine on a small black plate right above the power inlet. The software will pop up with a message asking if you want to continue with the default configuration. Please select yes. On the next screen, confirm all the details and click on next. After the software is installed, on the last screen, there is two options. Select, yes, I want to restart my computer now. And then click on finish. After your computer rebooted, open the software using the desktop icon. The first time you open the software it will ask if you like to register. This is not compulsory. It will open the software registration screen. Please fill in the first 16 characters license key supplied with the software and click on add. Then fill in the second 16 characters key and click on add. Once done click close. Your software will now open. We hope you will enjoy your machine and the vast applications you can do on this machine. If you need any assistance with the installation, please do not hesitate to contact our support team.